Hello, my classy, classy people. How y'all doing? My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm your speed king. As always, please turn on your closed captions so you can see the dialogue going across the screen over our analysis. And of course, if you want our speed sheets, our speed tip sheets this weekend, please give us an email at speedking24 at yahoo.com. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please do. That's a great way to support us. And of course, like our videos or dislike them. I mean, that's part of of it as well and of course comment that is my favorite part I answer each and every one of them personally or at least I try to 95% of them and everybody can vouch for that and if you send me an email I will respond as always you I will always match your effort of course so again comment like us subscribe and of course ring the bell on your local speaking channel well I'm back at Keeneland. All the other races are out of the way. The Santa Anita races, and we're not even looking at them too much other than the Santa Anita Derby. And the, obviously they have that Santa Anita Oaks over there. And we finished all of uh, New York races. So we're back at Keeneland where I want to be in the first place. Right? So again, we're going to be taking a look right now, right here, real quickly though. Because it's a full fill in the uh, Shaketown Stakes. It's great too. And again, it's for three-year-olds and up, going six, uh, five and a half panels for 350000 And it is race number eight on the card on Saturday. And it's a very, very nice field on the turf, five and a half panels. So again, I want to do give a shout out to my uh, newly grandson, uh, Carter, who is coming to the world on Tuesday as well. And that makes number seven, I believe, uh, for my grandkids. So again, all is well on my home front. And, uh, Again, blessings to our baby, grandbaby, uh, Mr. Carter. Welcome to this world. And we're going to stay on top of him, you know, as we always do. Well, the Shakes Town is a very competitive race here. Uh, I'm going to run through uh, the horses that I think are contenders in the race and the ones that I think are pretenders, we're just going to look past, okay? The number one horse, a uh, chess maker, uh, I don't believe is uh, up to speed here. Not a bad horse. Has won 11 of 28, obviously. But I just think that at 20 to 1, that's the right odds. He's a little uh, light in this spot, the number one. So we're going to not look at him today. The number two, natural power. Well, this uh, uh, Ireland bred has 18 starts and four wins, trained by Hills, uh, Mop Hiles, excuse me, speed figures are okay, currently riding a two-game winning streak, 50 to 1, but I think he's overmatched in here, the number two natural power, so we're going to throw him out. The number three horse is very interesting in this race, and more so if for no other reason than the odds at 6 to 1. I think that's square, and matter of fact, I think that's fair, to be honest with you. The number three, Barraza, has 13 starts and five wins. No, you did not. I just said he just had five wins. Seren is our trainer of record. Let Peru is in the odds. And the horses buy into mischief. No more need to be said. He won, you know, this Colt won 258000 Coming off of a three-game winning streak. Beautiful, beautiful grade three win in the San Simon Stakes back there at uh, Santa Anita, February 20th. And again, has uh, 49 days of rest, which apparently isn't that important anymore, according to Mr. Palmer, Mark Palmer, one of our viewers. So, again, I like four to six weeks. But, again, uh, in my flawed thinking, as he called my thinking, that's fine. Uh, yeah, imagine my, uh, a man's thinking being flawed. You think? Um, <laughs> anyway, um, but again, you know, uh, Barraza is a very nice horse and very interesting. Has done nothing wrong and obviously is riding a three-game, actually a four-game winning streak here. I mean, this is a very, very nice horse. And I'll probably have Barraza as my third pick in here. Very, very nice horse Seren has here by Into Mischief, which needs no introduction. Has almost won 50%. So the number three horse is probably going to be my second or third pick. The number four, Diamond Oops, Oops upside your head, a little gap band for you early in the morning, 15 to 1. Well, you know, Patrick being Combs is near and dear to my heart, uh, heart and his horse is by looking at Lucky. And of course, Andy, his daughter, is a, a wonderful, wonderful lady who's working at TVG as well. Uh, but you know what, uh, Diamond Oops go back between dirt and, 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 and uh, 
grass all the time. I think he's overmatched in this spot. We're going to throw the dime in. Oops, one of my pet horses off the ticket. And Gear Jockey, well, he needs no introduction either, right? Rusty Arnold was doing the signal calling on the number five Gear Jockey as 1 4 of 17 by Twirling Candy. You know, had been on a 98 day layoff, returned in February, did okay, but I don't think he's up, uh, up, up, up on it this time. So the number five, who's by one of my favorite horses and sires, Twirling Candy, we're going to look past the number five Gear Jockey. Well, the Learjet, an Irish bred, the number six, three wins from 11 starts, that's okay. And Bill Walsh is doing the training. Let me look. No, it's not the Dolphin. That's the first thing I always look for when I see, you know, Bill, um, you know, uh, Brendan Walsh's name, right? I say, oh, is this a Godolphin horse? Because obviously he trains for a Godolphin who is a crack outfit, you know. In my opinion, my favorite owners and breeders, for sure, uh, I'm part of their... Uh, fantasy uh, league uh, championship thing, and I've been involved with Godolphin for a pretty long time. So, again, uh, the Learjet isn't owned by Godolphin, but is trained by Brendan Walsh. Making her four-year-old, or his four-year-old debut, was gelded two back. And again, the speed figures are suspect at 12 to 1. So we'll throw the number six off the ticket. And Cowan, well, he needs no introduction. Three from 14 starts, the number seven Cowan. And of course, trained by my other guy, uh, Steve Asmussen, the Hall of Famer, and the American leading uh, trainer of all wins ever. Ever. Starting with 50 stars. Right? A Louisiana Derby winner, I believe. That's right. With Donnie Meshi up. Right? So, again, Cowan is overmatched in this spot. I don't like the seven. Asmussen or no Asmussen. Uh, Bear Ronald or no Bear Ronald in the arms. We're throwing Cowan off the ticket. And Johnny Unleashed. I always love this horse. We got a couple uh, viewers named John, and I always think they need to play these horses. But, you know, he would have to sprout wings to beat these Johnny Unleashed the number eight. He's a cool 50 to 1 and counting. <laughs> hey, let's throw the eight off the ticket. Well, Philo Di Ariana. Philo Di Ariana. Well, Ariana, the number eight horse, only has four starts and four wins. No, you didn't just say. I just said, tell me it ain't true. It is true. Let me see all of you speaking hot shots and great handicappers and classic. Knock the number nine, Ariana. Let me see you knock uh, Philo Ariana. She's raced four times in her life. She won all four. Well, well, well. I mean, and she's six. What's going on there? I don't know what's going on. Why the six-year-old only has four starts. But I tell you right now, when she hits the starting gate, she posing for the pitcher each and every time. So you can't say anything about that. Well, again, Mark Cassidy is doing the training. And my boy, Louie, 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 I is in the arms. Well, well, well. Coming off of a 286-day layoff, yeah, something like that. Has run in allowance races by way of overseas Brazilian bread. And again, you know, very nice horse. I don't know, the horse has never been beaten before, but that'll change today, all right? As, as nice as she is, we're going to give her our props, but we don't like Ariana. Four for four, no four for four. Louis Saez, no Louis Saez, my guy. And, of course, Cassidy. We're going to throw the number nine off the ticket, but we do respect her, um, obviously, her record. That is just some some record that that horse has in this spot for sure and of course our number uh 10 horse here uh don't really need any introduction uh by us uh golden pal uh the number 10 is your four to five favorite on the card here i don't think wesley ward uh, needs into any introduction with this here fine fine four-year-old colt has started eight times and has won five of them 
okay? So again, you understand why Golden Powell is 4 to 5, and he has 2 seconds for 1.3 million. Wesley Ward is doing the signal calling, and of course, Irad Ortiz is in the arm. So again, here is a 4-year-old making his debut uh, off of a beautiful, beautiful 3-year-old line. Of course, this horse won the Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint, went gate to wire with a beautiful, beautiful speed figure. And again, uh, they're going to have to sprout wings to really get a next to this one. You know, she's fast, she's, he's fast, he's quick, and he's probably even better as a four-year-old making his debut. So again, we'll just leave it at that. Of course, he'll be one of my top two picks here, if not the top pick. You know, Golden Powell needs no introduction, surely, by your speed king. And the last horse in the race is how we're going to try to smack Golden Powell around. The number 11 horse just might. Well, I'm telling you now, of course, trained by the female trainer who I love, Michelle Lovell. And uh, Michelle has done wonderful jobs with this six-year-old gelding. 34 starts, 10 wins, 8 seconds, and 6 thirds for 800000 And Michelle and Cass Hernandez in the arms. Uh, is this horse is very, very fast, just might. And of course, you know that already. And if anybody can want to be able to tangle with Golden Powell, this is the one. The thing that I like about Golden uh, Just Might is that, of course, uh, this six-year-old is a hard hitter and um, knows where the winner's circle is and just knows how to run by Jess Phillip. Right? And Michelle does a beautiful job coming off of the 49-day layoff, which apparently isn't that important anymore. Yet you can run him back like Oscar Barrera every three days not. Anyway, did, was I just, yeah. Um, but again, just my, uh, is a, is a very, very nice horse and, um, you know, very, very speedy. I think he'll be able to get in front of Golden Pal from the outside. So again, I'm going to actually put him on top of Golden Pal because he's, uh, because he's four to one and he's an old timer and he loves to hit hard, right? You know, I think at some point these horses stop racing. They just run, you know, and, um, I think that's the case with horses like Rated R, Superstar, horses like John Henry, um, Lava Man. I just think that they just run at some point, you know. I don't even know if they know they're racing. If somebody's in front of them, they go catch them, you know. So, again, I like Jess Might in this spot if for no other reason. Uh, Michelle's done a great job, and the horse is very, very fast. And I think he could outbreak uh, Golden Powell being outside of him in the 11 hole and Golden Powell's in the 10 hole. But, of course, obviously, Golden Powell's the horse to beat at 4 to 5. So, there is your uh, Shake Town Stakes race. Uh, eighth race at beautiful, beautiful Keenan. One of my favorite places. Five and a half panels, three hundred and fifty thousand. Grade two, and you won't uh, look need to look around for excitement. We're going to take the number eleven here. Just might at four to one has a chance at least to beat that big head horse. Wesley Ward has Golden Pal at four to one, and of course our second pick and likely, likely likely winner in my flawed thinking, uh, Golden Pal at four to five, okay? So there it is, folks. Do we think that is our top two picks? The number 11, just my Golden Pal, the number uh, 10 horse, obviously the one to beat at four to five. Again, you don't need me to give you that horse. And the kind of cute horse in this race to me is the number three, Barraza. I think you need to use him underneath in exactors or tries. And if they fall asleep, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Barraza uh, creeps around and, and run by these horses if somehow Golden Powell and Jess Might hooks up in a speed duel. Barraza would be standing there picking them up and laying them down. Don't discount the three horse if a speed duel develops up front. So there it is. Your Speed King's going to try to topple uh, Golden Powell with the number 11, Jess Might. Good luck to Michelle and all the other entries to get around the racetrack very uh, safely. We like the 11, of course, at 4-1. to one. Great value there over uh, with Golden Powell as our second pick. And the sneaky, sneaky good Barraza, the number 3, as always. Stay classy, y'all, in everything you do. There is your Shake Town Stakes Race, as always. I'll talk to you shortly. And remember, always have some fun when you go racing. We're back in Kentucky.